Hello friends, welcome back to Upgrading Way. In today's video you will find some toughest Java interview questions and answers. Before starting the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. So let's start the video. Hello sir, I am Isha Nair and today's my interview. Yes, Isha please have a seat. Thank you sir. Shall we start the interview? Yeah sure sir. What is the difference between an inner class and a subclass? An inner class is a class which is nested within another class. An inner class has access rights for the class which is nesting it. And it can access all variables and methods defined in the outer class. A subclass is a class which inherits from another class called superclass. Subclass can access all public and protected methods and fields of its superclass. What's the purpose of static methods and static variables? When there is a requirement to share a method or a variable between multiple objects of a class instead of creating separate copies for each object. We use static keyword to make a method or variable shared for all objects. Can we declare a class as abstract without having any abstract method? Yes we can create an abstract class by using abstract keyword before class name even if it doesn't have any abstract method. However, if a class has even one abstract method, it must be declared as abstract otherwise it will give an error. Does importing a package imports its sub-packages as well in Java? In Java, when a package is imported, its sub-packages aren't imported and developer needs to import them separately if required. For example, if a developer imports a package university, Tarankan, all classes in the package named university are loaded but no classes from the sub-package are loaded. To load the classes from its sub-packaged say department developer has to import it explicitly as follows, import university, department. Taran can. Can we declare the main method of our class as private? In Java, main method must be public static in order to run any application correctly. If main method is declared as private, developer won't get any compilation error however, it will not get executed and will give a runtime error. How can we pass argument to a function by reference instead of pass by value? In Java, we can pass argument to a function only by value and not by reference. How an object is serialized in Java? In Java, to convert an object into byte stream by serialization, an interface with the name serializable is implemented by the class. All objects of a class implementing serializable interface get serialized and their state is saved in byte stream. Is it compulsory for a try block to be followed by a catch block in Java for exception handling? Try block needs to be followed by either catch block or finally block or both. Any exception thrown from try block needs to be either caught in the catch block or else any specific tasks to be performed before code abortion are put in the finally block. Can a class have multiple constructors? Yes, a class can have multiple constructors with different parameters. Which constructor gets used for object creation depends on the arguments passed while creating the objects. Congratulations Miss Isha you were selected. Thank you sir. I hope you like the video. Keep practicing and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel. Bye. Take care of yourself.